2024 Corvette E-Ray Review, the perfect blend of tradition and innovation. The Corvette stands as a true American icon, enduring through the years with remarkable resilience. Achieving such longevity is no small feat, but Chevrolet discovered a winning formula and adhered to it for decades. This changed with the introduction of the C8, notable for its all-new mid-engine design, a feature typical of exotic supercars. The innovations continue with the 2024 Corvette E-Ray, which is not only the first hybrid variant, but also the first to feature all-wheel drive. Unsurprisingly, it's a Corvette unlike any other. The updates allow the E-Ray to surpass traditional sports cars, offering a driving experience that rivals some of the world's best. Even more impressive is the starting price of $104,900. While the C8 has been around for a few years, it still boasts a fantastic look. Its aggressive design is enhanced by a wide body, shared with the Z06, making it 3.6 inches mm, wider than the Stingray at a total width of 79.7 inches mm. In addition to its bold body, the E-Ray features staggered 20, and 21-inch wheels with a unique, twisted design exclusive to the hybrid. These wheels are fitted with wide Michelin Pilot Sport or Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, ensuring excellent grip. The E-Ray is offered as both a hardtop convertible and a coupe with a removable roof panel. Our test model was the latter, with a roof that can be easily removed and stored in the trunk. Customization is a hallmark of the Corvette, and buyers will find plenty of options. For instance, our well-equipped test model featured a $2,995 carbon fiber ground effects package, a $2,495 carbon fiber roof panel, $995 carbon flash forged aluminum wheels, $395 black exhaust tips, and $195 carbon flash mirror caps. While none of these features are essential, the $2,595 front lift system is a must-have. With a push of a button, it raises the front end by approximately 1.6 inches 40 millimeters, to protect against speed bumps and steep driveways. This feature was frequently used during our test drive, proving it's better to be safe than sorry. The interior, though familiar, remains impressive. This is especially true for the range-topping 3LZ trim, which features leather and suede microfiber upholstery throughout. Designers also added eye-catching stitching to the roof and door panels, enhancing the luxury feel. Adding to the allure are the stylish and supportive GT2 sport seats with carbon fiber trim. These seats are wrapped in perforated leather and offer heating, ventilation, and eight-way power adjustment for maximum comfort. The perks continue with a perfectly sized carbon fiber steering wheel that feels delightful to hold. The interior also boasts a head-up display, a 12-inch digital instrument cluster, and an 8-inch infotainment system with Google built-in. While the infotainment screen is somewhat small, it's responsive and well-placed. Entry and exit are also relatively easy compared to other mid-engine sports cars. Despite its many positives, there are some quirks. The wireless smartphone charger is awkwardly located behind your shoulder on the rear bulkhead. The row of ramp-like buttons is controversial, though some may appreciate the physical switchgear. Additionally, the cup holder seems more fitting for a Cavalier than a Corvette. Overall, the Corvette is remarkably impressive for its price. It successfully blends style and comfort with a generous array of features. What sets the Corvette E-Ray apart is its advanced powertrain. The rear wheels are driven by a familiar 6.2-liter V8 engine, delivering 495 horsepower, 369 kilowatts 502 PS, and 470 lbfd 637 newton meters of torque this engine also found in the standard stingray features cylinder deactivation technology and a start slash stop system supported by a lightweight 12 volt lithium-ion battery however the e-ray diverges from tradition by incorporating a front-mounted electric motor that adds 160 horsepower 119 kilowatts slash 162 ps and 125 lbfd 169 newton meters of torque this setup not only provides all-wheel drive but also an additional boost in performance together the engine and motor produce a combined output of 655 horsepower 488 kilowatts 664 ps 
while slightly less than the 670 horsepower, 500 kilowatts slash 679 PS of the Z06, the added traction makes the E-Ray the fastest Corvette ever, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 96 kilometers per hour, in just 2.5 seconds. The performance is remarkable, with everything working seamlessly in sync. Although the magic happens behind the scenes, you can view the E-Ray gauge display on the infotainment system, which provides a live readout of both engine and motor output. Watching the display while driving is captivating as the car optimally distributes power between the front and rear wheels. For instance, if you accelerate, the E-Ray might allocate 50 horsepower, 37 kilowatts slash 51 PS to the rear wheels and 10 horsepower, 7 kilowatts slash 10 PS to the front. It's almost intuitive, as the Corvette precisely knows how much power to generate and where to send it. This new setup gives the car an unprecedented level of control, precision, and responsiveness. The ERA feels exceptionally sure-footed, thanks to its ample traction and grip. Drivers will find confidence in the car's ability to effortlessly tackle corners, as the suspension, low center of gravity, and all-wheel drive system work harmoniously together. However, the all-wheel drive system might take away some of the raw excitement. During our test, we stayed on public roads and didn't push the car to its limits. The powertrain introduces some intriguing new features, including a stealth mode. Utilizing the car's 1.9 kWh lithium-ion battery, this mode allows the E-Ray to operate on electric power alone. To activate it, you press the brake, twist the mode selector to stealth, and hit the start button. The Corvette then quietly springs to life displaying a unique cluster readout to indicate it's running on electricity. From there, you simply shift into drive and set off. Designed to let owners leave home quietly without disturbing neighbors, stealth mode allows the Corvette to travel 3 to 4 miles, 4.8 to 6.4 kilometers, on electric power alone. However, maintaining this mode can be tricky as the engine engages if you exceed 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, or accelerate too quickly. Notably, unlike the McLaren Archura, the E-Ray doesn't require plugging in. The battery recharges during normal driving and through regenerative braking. While this limits the car's electric-only range, it simplifies the driving experience to just getting in and going. Remember the joy of driving when the journey was more important than the destination? The E-Ray rekindles that feeling, urging you to drive and have fun. Beyond its abundant power, the car features an exceptional 8-speed dual-clutch transmission and a superb steering system. It also comes equipped with Brembo carbon ceramic brakes and magnetic ride control 4.0 suspension. These elements work in harmony, particularly when considering the Corvette's various driving modes, which significantly affect how the 3,774 pounds coupe performs. Tour mode is perfect for leisurely drives or rough roads, as it softens the car's sporty edge. Sport mode is more assertive, while track mode takes performance to the next level. Additionally, there's my mode, allowing owners to customize their preferred settings for the suspension, steering, brakes, and engine sound. Speaking of the engine, the 6.2-liter V8 produces an exhilarating sound that encourages you to lower the windows for a better listen. However, you might also hear a few squeaks on less-than-ideal roads. While rough roads can affect ride quality, the Corvette remains surprisingly comfortable overall. On good to decent pavement, the suspension handles imperfections admirably. However, on deteriorating surfaces, the ride quality diminishes, with noticeable impacts and construction zones making their presence felt. This is a common trait among sports cars. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.